Uh, this is 2018 NAB here in Vegas. Uh, we're unveiling our brand new project Valkyrie, which is the newest addition to our Jupiter line. Uh, we've been doing this for a couple of years with the 10 gig speeds, things like that, ZFS redundancy, features you uh, know and love. Uh, what sets this apart from the standard Jupiter is the form factor, first of all, 12 inches by seven, so liter a literal suitcase form factor. You don't have to worry about expensive adapters, you know, all these things. Um, it's, a, it's a simple system, uh, very modular. Throw it, we're gonna have a Pelican case that will ship with it, so very robust. Yeah, and then on top of that, you ingest to this thing. Uh, absolutely no bottleneck. Kind of plays very nicely with our Thunderblade V4. So from ingest all the way to archive, absolutely no bottleneck, no waiting. Light package, a lot of performance. Uh, we're, we'll be pushing this out uh, probably in the next year or so. Uh, this is our prototype. The performance numbers are ridiculously high for SMB. Uh, we're pushing about 5,000 megabytes read-write uh, with, the, with the correct networking equipment, of course. Um, so, yeah, kind of the gambit from gigabit, 10 gig, 40 gig, and then like I said, in the future we will be looking at 100 gig. Um, we don't limit you in terms of peripherals or protocols, so uh, your standard copper, fiber, all those things, we're not going to tie you down. Um, one, one of the nice things about these systems as well is you can manage it with our net data application. Um, you can literally just throw a, a tablet on the network and see what's happening. How much storage do you have? Who's using what? Uh, very easy to manage. You don't need to be a, a tech guy to understand these things. This is the, uh, the, the, the business end of the Valkyrie. Uh, obviously, you have standard ATX power. We go with the, the nice stuff, Seasonic. They make most of the, the good stuff. Uh, of course, you got your RS-232, your VGA, uh, USB 3.0. Now these are dual gigabit built in. You have your BMC controller or IPMI as it's called. This essentially will allow you to uh, log into the Valkyrie, uh, do firmware upgrades, uh, check thermal sensors, things like that. Uh, and technically the system doesn't even have to be on, just powered. Uh, and then of course through PCIe we have seven slots. So uh, pretty much any card you can think of will go in. Uh, in this specific setup, we have 40 gig to our PC, which is simulating a, uh, a direct edit type system. So, you know, you can work right off of it, no problem. Uh, and then of course you have a fiber backbone to, which would simulate what you, you would connect to your switch. All your end clients could use standard cheap 10G copper. So very robust, very easy to expand. Uh, the thing about our entire Jupiter line, not just Valkyrie, is that it's very open. Um, we, our OS leverage is 17 million users, so we have a lot of, a lot of ticket support, things like that. Uh, and then, of course, as with everything else OWC, support is kind of paramount to what we do. Uh, another feature with Valkyrie is it plugs and plays with your standard SAS JBots, uh, not just ours, but other competitors. Uh, what that means is you can easily rack it, uh, push all the data on cheap spinning disks, um, ingest to it. You don't have to worry about filling it up that bad. Uh, the nice thing about these is you can basically fill this up really fast and then push it to spinning disks, which of course are less expensive. Uh, it comes with a, a mini SAS port, dual port, and each one of those will do 40 gigs. So uh, absolutely no bottleneck there, and you can basically daisy chain all the way up. Uh, in theory, ZFS will do go into the zettabytes, uh, and that's one with 21 zeros behind it. So quite a bit of expansion. The use case we kind of see this fitting into beautifully is where you have these uh, production companies that are very mobile, that want to take uh, and do all the editing in the field. Uh, essentially, you can tie this in with all of your end clients, do all of your editing through the Valkyrie, and that encompasses your pool, your scratch. You can do everything from the Valkyrie. One of the features that sets it apart from everything else is the ZFS file system. Uh, so that gives you data redundancy, self-healing file system, and of course the performance uh, when you're, you're pulling straight from RAM. So no waiting for disks to spool up, things like that. Uh, then of course you have variable stripes, so you don't have to lose data, you don't have to worry about uh, any kind of data loss, file rot, things like that that are with typical hard RAID. You don't see that in ZFS. Another thing is open, open playbook in terms of adaption, uh, QSFP+, 10G Fiber, 10G Copper, um, 
probably in the future we're going to be looking at 100 gig. Uh, so very open platform. Uh, another use case that we probably are going to see a lot is the heavy I.O. Uh, thin client type systems. You can bring this with you. 10, 12 thin clients, run everything through the Valkyrie. It's all backed up. It's all on ZFS volume. You don't lose anything. Uh, you don't have to bring a bunch of heavy, thick clients and thousands of pounds of equipment. Another use case for this uh, is heavy VM usage. So using a nice fiber backbone, uh, you actually lose your, uh, a huge substantial amount of latency. Uh, with standard 10G copper, while it is inexpensive, the latency uh, goes up exponentially as you add clients. So with this system, with a nice fiber backbone, you can add as many VM clients as you want, uh, still get that one-to-one -one, uh, performance. You don't have to worry about having uh, the issue of clicking on something, waiting for it to load, things like that. Uh, I like to say it's kind of like having a, a, a system that has a really fast SSD, except it's over the network. So really cool feature. Uh, basically, you can take this with you with a bunch of uh, small form factor PCs or thin clients, and all of a sudden you've got a big edit cluster. So uh, kind of a cool usage. And then, of course, you can run VMs and then back those up to the ZFS file system so you don't lose anything. We pride ourselves on the support, most of all. Uh, the one thing kind of sets us apart is we like to actually talk to the end customer, build the system to suit it, get, it, get them the exact hardware, exact setup that they need. With these kind of systems, you just want them to work. You don't want to have to deal with all the techie stuff and all the complicated nomenclature, lingo, all that stuff. Nice thing about these is you set them up, you bring your, your, your switch or your direct attach cables, plug it in, it just works.